Hi, my name is Samer Hijazi. I am an engineering group director at Cadence IP Group uh, in the City of organization. Uh, today I'll be speaking about the topic of bringing deep learning to embedded devices, meaning to our daily life. Uh, this is a part of several uh, Whiteboard Wednesday that our team has given and will be giving about this particular topic. Uh, what is deep learning to start with? Deep learning is a new renaming of an old technology that has been around for the past 60 or 70 years. It's a promise of artificial intelligence that has been told, us, told to us since our childhood that it's going to happen, it's going to change the world, and we kept waiting for it, and finally it is here today. The reason it is here today, it's driven by two fundamental revolution in technologies. One is the availability and possibility of collecting large amount of data, but this data did not and does not get collected on its own. It was triggered by very creative and motivated smart engineers in several great institutes such as Stanford, Princeton, University of New York, and others, uh, uh, in conjunction with uh, a great availability of high compute silicon uh, that is capable of performing a large amount of computation in a low cost available to researchers on their limited budget. To be specific about these terms, in the past uh, 10 years, there is a project called ImageNet that has came to existence on year 2010, where the researchers have embarked on a journey of collecting around a million images and labeling them. Uh, during this process, the researchers have done this incredible journey and it was not clear what would be the results. Fast forward to 2012, a young researcher from the University of Toronto have adopted this new large collection of data and uh, utilized the best available GPUs of his time and developed what is known today as AlexNet. Uh, in this process, he was able, in a very short period of time, to outperform all the detection capabilities that has been known to man up to that, at, up to the year 2012. But that's great. So what is the barrier to bringing this to our daily life? Uh, let's speak about a specific product in the market today that is doing great work and providing a very important service. That is mobile eye uh, Q4 chip, or Q, uh, IQ4 chip. They, uh, they are rightfully bragging with the right that they can provide around two trillion uh, floating point operation or ops in less than three watts. That's an impressive number to start with, uh, but let's go into the details a little bit. If we look at this number in a little bit more details, if we put this chip on a phone, speaking, the, uh, speaking of the best iPhone out there, the impressive iPhone 6, uh, we observe that this phone will be dried out, the large battery on that phone will be dried out in 2.3 hours, even with nothing on. The screen is off, the modem is off, just this recognition capability is running, and the phone will be dry. This is, can be tolerated, but when you bring it to real application, that is not usable. Uh, now, you, you add to that that the this chip is designed for the ADAS market, where you are trying to identify only few classes. If you are trying to use this on a phone, the number of classes in our daily life is large. It's not one or two or not ten even. So the capability that this chip brings is a little bit less than what you really would want on a real-time embedded device. Okay. So how are we going to solve this problem? As Cadence, we have a responsibility and opportunity to help the semiconductor industry to bring to the consumer what they need faster, cheaper, and better. So there are two aspects that has to happen in order for deep learning to come to our daily, daily life. These two particular uh, angles, one is on the software and one on the hardware. On the software front, we'll be speaking about this in future uh, Whiteboard Wednesdays, where how would we enable researchers to take great ideas such as AlexNet or GoogleNet or Inception, uh, Inception or even ResNet and bring the complexity down without degradation in performance and in some cases with slight improvement in performance. In addition to that, there is a need for an improved hardware designs, specifically hardware IPs, that can perform the same amount of compute or even more than the GPUs are doing today on desktops and at a much lower power envelope. To 
put numbers on the top of this, on these two aspects, really it is needed to have a two to three orders of magnitude reduction in, uh, uh, reduction in power consumption, or in other words, two to three order of magnitude improvement in power efficiency to make this transition from desktop technology to handheld devices technology. So on the hardware front, uh, we can take a look in here. Today's GPUs, or desktop GPUs, they are providing an impressive compute capacity, but at moderate uh, power efficiency envelope. Then we go one step above that, and we are in the embedded GPU space. And they are still providing a much better embedded uh, power efficiency, but still does not provide this amount of compute you need. And the power efficiency you need is not as, you, as high as you really would like it to be. You go one step above that, you go to specialized vision DSPs. Specialized vision DSPs are a newcomers to uh, embedded devices, such as smartphones. And they provide an impressive uh, step above where, where we would be with uh, desktop GPUs and even embedded GPUs toward a significant improvement in performance, or I'm sorry, in, in power efficiency, but it does not also give us the edge we need in, uh, in performance improvement. And even though in Cadence we are providing top of the line in terms of performance and power efficiency in this space, still to get to the promised land of performance and, perf uh, and capability, well, there is still one more order of magnitude needed to be accomplished on the uh, hardware front, and that where would be the topic of future presentations uh, given by Cadence team. Thanks for watching this uh, presentation, and look forward to have you again next week on next uh, Whiteboard Wednesday. Thanks. Thank you.